How's it going ladies and gents? It's Flack. Here we have a clock kit. This is a vacuum fluorescent display tube clock kit that uh, I bought off eBay. I actually built one of these about half a year ago, but then I dropped it, broke a couple of the tubes, then I tried to desolder the tubes, and then I destroyed the couple traces, and well, bad went to worse, and then I uh, decided to say, screw it, I will buy another one and make it, but this time I'm going to film it. Now, I'll be honest, a lot of this video is inspiration from uh, Aussie50 on YouTube, uh, BigClive.com on YouTube, uh, the makers and hackers of YouTube, basically. Um, and in fact, I've always been a fan of electronics my entire life. I've always taken them apart. In fact, I was the kid that didn't play with his toys. I typically took them apart. Uh, these LEDs are the difficult part because they're different sized leads. But I was the one to disassemble my toys when I was younger. Do I have solder? Ooh, for a second there I thought I didn't have solder. Let's begin. I'm putting all the LEDs in first. These are keyed. Let me show you this. You can see that one of the pads is square and that's what the longest lead goes in. You can use this build, uh, this video as a uh, kind of a walkthrough to build your own, although I'm not the best builder in the world. I'm no architect. But feel free to follow along with your own kit. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I find this so calming. This is just so much fun. Ooh. This is just so much fun to do. I'm probably going to do this video in parts. All right, I'm going to need to take this off shot real quick. As you can see, bring this in a little closer. We lined up those pads, the long lead with the square pad. All right, let's begin soldering. I use lead solder. Uh, that is all that I use because I find that it works really well. I just bonded those pads together. These are really close pads. Where's my solder sucker? Take this one lead and put it into the barrel of this. There we go. I've already kind of built it, most of it, or not most of it, but the resistors and LEDs. Uh, I did start filming this, and then I noticed that it wasn't very good. So I'm continuing where I left off. So power on the soldering iron, my TS-100 soldering iron, which I love. I love this soldering iron. I highly recommend it. It is a temperature-controlled soldering iron that uses interchangeable tips. Don't be an idiot like me and touch it when it's heating up. But there we go. Let us begin. You're going to have leftover components. Like resistors and stuff. But that's not a big deal. So if you do have this project and you're building your own, just be wary that you are going to have leftover components. But I'll see what... Oh! 
this LED, this LED, and this LED need to be spaced off the board a little bit because there's resistors that go right next to it. So just warning you, if you build this, make sure to space the um, certain LEDs high up so that way that you can fit the resistors down. What I did is I did this. Hold on, let me... I uh, lifted that resistor up and soldered it in place. Well, let's do some capacitors. Those are always fun to do. second there I thought I didn't have solder I thought I brought it to work so I figured I'd do a Q&A for the second video while I solder this together so what do you guys want to know about me now I'm not gonna let everyone know about or let everyone know everything about me but Feel free to ask a question, and if I don't answer it, then, well, there's your answer. <laughs> I didn't feel comfortable um, divulging what, uh, what you asked, which is no big deal. I don't get offended. All right. Might want to solder some resistor packs in. I think these are resistor packs. Oopsies. All right, that's going to be troublesome. So I'll just solder that in and then reposition it. For the most part, you can use this video as a walkthrough for your own your own uh, build although I'm not the greatest builder in the world I do sometimes bridge solder joints together Ooh. Snips. Of course, I can't lift that little little shard of metal up. Oh, that's good enough for me. That's my saying. It's good enough for me. Alright, that resistor pack is soldered in. I'm pretty sure that's a resistor pack. Don't quote me. Uh, I've never actually seen a resistor pack, but they look like... And 
just by the spacing of the board where the chips go and this this is that and then you got an LED and the bulb which uh I should show you the bulb shouldn't I? I actually have extras because I actually built one of these broke it and I tried to solder in some new tubes but I then destroyed a couple traces and then said you know what screw it I'm just going to buy another new kit and then I thought, well, you know what? I might as well film it, too. I've lost where I was going. Uh, yes, resistor packs. You know, I keep calling these resistor packs. Someone is probably typing in the comments right now. That's not a resistor pack, you idiot! Oh, yeah. Uh, I did say this, and I think I got distracted. You can use this as a walkthrough if you want. But uh, for the most part, the board says exactly where to put components at. I think there might be one or two things on the board that actually are not listed. Um, but I might be wrong. And not to mention, this is a different iteration of the of the um, of this. Uh, the remote is different from the original that I made. So I'm wondering if they've improved it or changed it at all. Oh, there's a resistor that's kind of hanging up, so I'm going to fix that right now. There we go. Ow, I burned my finger. Here's the second resistor pack soldered in. That's not a resistor pack, you idiot! Uh, I'm going to stop this video now. <clears throat> and I'm going to post it so that way you guys can ask questions below and then the second video I'll either a keep my mouth shut for the entire time or b uh answer your questions but uh thank you for watching